To continue with the topic, vectors. We want to see how to resolve a given vector. Whatsoever how it look like, maybe how big it is, you can resolve it perfectly well. You can see this vector on the board, so big to be resolved. But if you use tabular methods, you will be able to resolve it very well. Now, we want to resolve these vectors and see how to do so. Okay? To resolve it, draw your table. Once you draw your table, say that this column is for the vectors. This is the horizontal component of the vectors and the vertical component of the vectors. Okay? Now, for you to resolve this vector, two things are required. Check whether the arrow is moving towards the origin or whether the arrow is moving out from the origin. Two, check also whether it is a positive Cartesian axis or negative Cartesian axis. See what we mean. We want to resolve the vector two. We write two. We say the unit is a northern. This northern. This nothing. So you don't write this nothing continuously, you just write two. Two is located in the vertical axis directly. Meaning that it has nothing to do with horizontal axis. You come here, you say nothing is here. Here two. You underline. Then you say you are done with two. Why did we say plus plus? Plus plus means the arrow is pointing out. Once the arrow is pointing out, you put plus. Then once it is in positive y axis, you put plus. Once it is positive x axis, you put plus. But if it is negative y axis, you put minus. Or negative x axis, you put minus. Or if it is, if the arrow is moving towards the origin, you put minus. Okay? Now, see the next one, this. We write 4. Now, this one make an angle. This one is in between y and x. How do we now solve it? First of all, say, to resolve it to s direction, to resolve it to s direction, use cos. And only use the angle it makes with the S direction. I repeat, to resolve it to S direction, use cos. To resolve it to Y direction, use sine. And only use the angle it makes with the X axis. See what we mean. What angle does this make with X axis? That is 60. This 60 you have is the angle you will put here, 60. Now, see what you do. You now say 4, because the vector is 4. You put here, the vector is 4. Now, I want to resolve this to horizontal, that is ROS, to resolve it to S axis, to horizontal axis. What I will do, I ask myself, this horizontal axis, the S axis, is it positive or negative? In Cartesian axis, this side is positive, negative, positive, Negative. So, this is positive. I will put positive. I also ask myself, is the arrow moving towards the origin or away from the origin? It's moving towards the origin. I will put minus. I finish resolving this to S axis. I come to Y axis. This. I say, what is the sign of my Y axis? I put plus. Is the arrow moving inward or outward? It's moving inward. Once it's moving inward, I put minus. Then, I am done with this vector. I mark it. I go to the next one, 5 nothing. I will say 5. Where does this locate? It locates on S axis. I will write 5. Does it have any relationship with Y axis? No, it's only on S axis. So you say nothing is here. Now, what is the sign of the Cartesian axis that is located? Plus. Is the arrow pointing out or pointing in? It's pointing out. Plus. I'm done with that. I'll underline. I'll put the next one, 
the next one is I'll mark this and go to this. This is two Norton. Now the arrow is moving towards the origin. It means that I will put minus here because it's in between x and y. It means that I will resolve it to x and I also resolve it to y. I'll put minus, I'll put minus. This minus is for the what? The arrow itself. Then I will say, what angle does it make with horizontal? This force. What angle does it make with horizontal? I said, this is 45. Total angle. Total angle is 90. If here is 45, here will be here will be 40. 90 minus 45, 45. It means that the angle it will make with horizontal will be 45. Only use the angle it makes with the horizontal. I will put 45. I will put 45 degrees. Degrees. Then because I'm resolving to x as this, I will put cos. I'll put here because it's for y as I'll put sine. Then what am I resolving? I'm resolving 2. Force 2, I'm resolving force 2. Then this minus we put here. We say what, what is the direction of the arrow? It's pointing inwards. We put minus. Minus. Then when you resolve this to S as is, that will be giving you plus. When you resolve it to x as is, that is positive x as is, you put plus. When you resolve it to y as is, that is negative y as is, put minus. So this is for the direction of the x as is, which is positive, and this is for the direction of, this is for the direction of x as is, and this is for the direction of the arrow. This is for the direction of the arrow, and this is for the direction of the y Cartesian as is, the sign of the y Cartesian as is. So we are done with the two Norton. This second two Norton. We go to the third one. The third one. The third one is three. The next one is three. We we'll mark this. We are done with you. We go to three. We say three. Where is it located vertically? That is y axis. It has nothing to do with s. For y axis, you write three. You say what is the sign of the Cartesian axis? You write minus. Then what is the direction of the arrow? You write plus because it's moving outward. Now do you know what you do? You say you are done with this. You go to this. This is in between S and Y. You write 6 Norton. 6. Then you now say, to resolve it to your X as you say, what is the direction of the arrow? You say plus. What is the direction of the Cartesian X as you say? You say minus. What force has you resolve in 6? To resolve to X as is, you put cos. What angle does it make with horizontal axis? You say six. You come again to the y. What is the direction of the y axis you are resolving? It's minus because the, this is y axis you are resolving it towards. To. So it's minus. What is the direction of the arrow? You say plus. Then you now say, what is the force that you are resolving? You say six. Then what angle does it make with the uh, Horizontal axis, you say sex, then you put sign because that is for y axis. You are done with this. You come to four. You write four. This four is located on the I x axis only. So you say it does not have anything to do with y axis. You say this four is located in negative x axis. I write four is located in negative x axis. What is the direction of this four? What is the direction of the arrow pointing inwards? So it's minus two. Minus for the direction of the arrow pointing inwards and minus for the Cartesian axis. So you go to the next one. You go to three. This three is in between x, x and y axis. Get the angle it will make with the horizontal axis. Since here is 30, 90 minus 
30 will give you 60. It means that it will have 60 degree, 60 degree. Please don't make use of this angle 30. Use the angle it makes with the X axis only. Use the angle it makes with the X axis only. Now, how do we do it now? You now say, this is pointing out. You say plus. Now, to resolve it to X axis, to resolve it to x as what is the um, sign of the Cartesian x as is? You say minus. What force are we talking about? Three. You put cos. Then the result of y as is, you say the arrow is plus. Then the Cartesian as is is plus. What are we resolving? You say three. So y as is to use sign. You say you are done with your question. You write summation of ROX, summation of ROY. Now, what do we mean? You bring your calculator out. You say plus times plus plus times 2, 2. Everything here will be 2. Minus times plus will give you minus. You write minus. Then, cos 60 will be giving you 0 0.5. So, 4 cos 60 will be giving you 2. So, here we become minus 2. Use your calculator to do it so that you will not make mistake. Then, the next one, minus times minus, minus times plus, minus. 4 times 60, 4 sine 60. That will be giving you 3.464. 3.464. You say 3.464. You come to the next one. Plus times plus plus. So everything will be giving you 5 plus 5. Then we come to this. Minus times plus will give you minus 2 cos 45. 2 cos 45. That will be giving us 1.414. This, okay. Then 4.414. So we'll be having. We clean this and put 4.414. 1.414. Okay? Here, minus times minus plus 2 sine 45 will also give us 1.414. Let's check it. 2 sine 45. 1.414. Then, plus times minus minus. Then 6 cos 60 will be, plus times minus will give you minus. 6 cos 60 will be giving you 3. So minus 3. Okay? So, we now say, here yeah, plus times minus is minus 6 times 60. 6 sine 60. That will be giving us 4.20. 4.20. place. Okay? You now come again. Minus times minus plus. Here is plus. Nothing is here. Then, plus times minus is minus. So we have in 3 cos 60, we will give you minus 1.5. Minus 1.5. Plus times minus plus 3 times 60 will be giving us 3 sin 60. 2.5. 
2.598. So, that is the answer. Now, what you do now, you add up everything you see in your ROS. Let's add them up. Minus 2 plus 5 minus 1.44. 1.414 minus 3 minus 3 then plus 4 minus 1.5 that will be giving us 1.086 then we'll check the other one it will be giving us 2 minus 3.464 plus 1.414 minus 3 minus 5.2 plus 1.414 minus 5.2 Then plus 2.598 that will be giving us minus 5.652 so to locate on your partisan as is negative y negative mean negative y then positive mean positive x so we have it to be that here is your theta. Then our arm. Let's get our arm. Our arm total resultant will be equal to square root of R S square plus R Y square. That will be giving you square root of one point zero eight six square plus.
as your time inverse of 5.204. That will be your theta. Time inverse of 5.204. That will be giving us uh, 79.1 degrees. So this is their final answer for the resultant of the vectors and the angle between the vector. So the implication of this is that if you want to represent this answer in a diagram, you say this is your Cartesian axis. R Y B negative means here. R S B positive means here. So this is what we are talking about. Here is your theta. Now to get it in compass form or in, in uh, to get it in cardinal uh, point form, here is your south, here is your east, and your theta is 79.1 degrees. 90 minus 71 minus 90. 90 minus 71 will be giving you 71. 90 minus 79.1 will be giving you this side. That will be 10.9. 10.9 degrees. So in compass bearing, you say this simply means south 10.9 degrees is south. 10.9 degrees is this is in compass bearing form or cardinal point form and this is uh, in three figure form. So after getting here, if it's located this side, the implication is that here will be your theta. Your theta is the angle between that your resultant and the horizontal axis. The angle between the resultant and the horizontal axis, that remains your theta. So your theta is that then in compass bearing minus it from 90 you get it so you say south 10.9 degrees is that is your answer to the question remember our resultant is uh, 5.76 Norton that is our resultant thanks for watching the video please try to comment on the video subscribe to the video and like the video as well see the next videos will be posted on that channel. Please stay safe and see us next time.